Hey guys, welcome back to another video of German's Plant World. It's the Kid Gardener here today. Back to you with some more gardening tips and tricks to improve the garden, front yard, backyard, and all sorts of things. So, for all my viewers who are watching this video, um, please subscribe, like, and give this a comment down below. Alright. So, today, I'm on this beautiful day trying to do a little project with... Uh, aloe vera so I'm gonna be showing you um, I'm gonna be planting the aloe vera in the ground and I'm gonna show you where we're gonna be planting it at and right now I'm in the front yard um, doing this project and so yeah I'm gonna get started and show you guys what we're gonna be doing and I'm gonna show you guys the material and how we gonna do it so let's get to it Alright guys, so this is the aloe vera that we got from Lynn's, Miss Lynn's Exotic Plants. The um, link will be in this video. So, here are some flowers up top, and there's the aloe monster. Oh my gosh, so big guys, right? Okay, now we gotta try to get it out of this pot, and let me show you where we're gonna be putting it. We're gonna be putting it right here. To look beautiful so it's gonna be like right here in this little circle where my foot is and you see all the weeds right here we're gonna be weeding it weeding it we're gonna be using this bad boy to weed eat it so yeah let me show you the materials that we're gonna be using excuse me this is flower and vegetable garden soil so this is the soil we use a lot you can find it at Lowe's. That's where we get ours from. And we usually get a lot of bag of these because we run through these very quick. And it's actually very good soil. So I, I would recommend this soil. And yeah. Um, what else are we using? So as you can see, we got our marble rocks, which we're going to be putting over top of the soil. And we got... Our fences. Our fences. Wait. No, those aren't the fences, are they? Wait. These are the fences. My bad, guys. These are the fences that we're going to be using. So, we're going to open the box. And, yeah. And we're going to be planting it right here. So that's the materials we're going to be using, and I'm going to show you how much dirt you need for the soil. Let's get started. get our broom and sweep it so we can well at this point let's not even sweep it let's actually get our dirt so we can get started planting it so let's do it 
Alright guys, so we're here right now, digging our hole where I told you where I put my foot in the middle of the center. So, yeah, look at me go, doing the shovel part. Um, we're doing this because this used to be where a banana plant used to be, and we moved it into, um, a garden bed, and we decided to, you know, add something here because it looks boring right there. So we decided to improvise on here. So what we're going to do is probably dig our hole. We're going to keep it in the pot. But all we're going to do is like set the pot in there so its roots can. My mom made some holes in the pot. And she's going to. And the um all we have to do is set the pot up in there. And the roots are going to grow from the, out the hole. Escape from the holes and grow into the ground. And, yeah, I decided to do this project because, you know, why not take chances, you know, and be brave and improvise on the front yard. So, I decided, yeah, let's go ahead and do it. So, your hole does not have to be about, like, maybe three inches down, maybe. And so, yeah. Okay, now all we're going to do is we're just going to pat some of the dirt down. So we don't have any clumps, no nothing. Just gonna pat it down softly. Just like that. Maybe pat some of that dirt down right there. Just pat it down flat. That's all you gotta do. And then once we're probably after done with this, we're gonna probably add our dirt. So, wait, no, we gotta add the aloe first. Wait, yeah. See that? That, that. Right there that I just pulled out. I don't know what that is. It goes to the house or something. No, it's roots. So, yeah. I'm just patting the dirt. And after we do it, we're just going to wet the um, soil a little bit. Because, you know, so the aloe can already have water. And start letting its roots be free and things. So, yeah. Just basically making sure there's nothing in the dirt. You know, nothing to mess up the plant, no nothing, no uh, glass, no plastic, no nothing. Alright, so, next up, I went to go get, what did I get? Um, Alright, so, sorry, yeah. Alright, so, I went to get my aloe, alright, and now we got, now that we got our aloe, we're gonna go ahead and get our dirt. Sorry for about the moment of silence right there, um, I kinda got lost a train of thought there, so yeah, bear with me guys. This dirt is very heavy, so we're gonna go ahead and try to get this dirt done. Just pour a little bit up in there. So that, um, it can give it a little bit boost. And then pat it down after you're done. Alright. And you do not need much because I'm going to show you what you do with the rest of the soil. Um, when we plant our aloe up in there. So we're going to go ahead and get down and spread it around, pat it down. And I do recommend this soil because... It's called Stay Green, and I we use it a lot in this family because it really helps our plants grow, and it's really good. So, next, now that we have our water, we're going to pour a little bit around so, you know, the aloe can get a little bit of water. So, yeah. And then after we give it the water, wet in the, um, because, you know, when the soil's in the, um, bag it's nothing but dry dirt so basically you just want to wet it you know give your plant a little bit of water and now we got to do is just set it in there well let me go ahead and fix it because it's leaning as you can see so wait well let, let me fix it real quick because you know we gotta guys it is very pointy you may not notice but aloe has very, like, spikes. Like, spikes. And my aloe marker 
does not look like this yet as you can see the flowers up top marco does not have that yet but he's gonna get that soon and this aloe is pretty huge and has spikes and it will poke you so yeah and all we gonna do is spread some dirt around it you know get a little bit of dirt around there so it can actually help it you know raise So, yeah, so you can go ahead and, you know, pat it around. One, two, three, four. Alright guys, I'm back here, and now to show you the finishing part. All the rocks are put down, the aloe is here. We didn't have enough big rocks, so we used tiny rocks. So, yeah.